Hi everyone, this is Kim Ross with Girl Scouts of Silver Sage giving some instructions on how to close out your 2024 cookie program. With me today, I have Kim Hoosen. She is Kim version 2.0, the upgrade. And then we also have Carrie Harding with us from ABC and she is going to take it away. Carrie? All right, let me pull up some slides real quick. Okay, can you see the presentation? Yes. Okay. We're gonna cover a few basic steps that you need to do as you're wrapping your program. First, you wanna make sure that you assign all your on-hand inventory to the girls. You wanna make sure you've recorded all payments from girls to troop. And you wanna create a recognition order to make sure that they receive all of their rewards at the end of the program. Your on-hand inventory is displayed on your dashboard in the second box right underneath. You want to look at this total on-hand inventory. This is what Smart Cookies believes that you still have in physical packages. So if this number is saying 54, but you only have 12 packages left, then you need to go in and assign more cookies to the girls. So maybe there's a troop to girl transfer or a booth that you haven't recorded yet. So the goal is to try and get this troop on hand inventory down to zero or down to as few cookies as possible, which is hopefully just what you have left in your troop inventory at the end of the sale. There's two ways to assign cookies to the girls. The easiest way is to just go to your orders tab and then choose transfer order. From there, you can do a troop to girl, a girl to girl, a girl to troop, or a troop to troop transfer. So you go to orders, you click transfer order, and then your screen will pop up with all of your cookie flavors and list of girls that you can choose which girl. By clicking on the word girl, you'll choose the girl that you wanna to transfer to. One thing you need to remember is that when you're transferring, there are two two columns and transfer. One is packages and packages assigns financial responsibility. So it transfers cookies from troop to girl and then it also transfers financial responsibility. If these cookies were sold at a booth though, you can enter the cookies in the second column which is booth packages. This column assumes that the cookies were sold booth and that the troop has already collected the money. So it does not assign financial responsibility to the girl. It just gives her credit for packages. So if you're doing a straight transfer where the girl's actually picking up the cookies, you wanna use the package column. If you are doing a booth transfer, you want to use the booth column to assign those cookies. However, the preferred way to transfer booth cookies is through the smart booth divider. To do that, you go to your booth tab and then you go to my reservations and a list of all of your cookie booths will then appear. And you wanna to go to the end of, say you worked, this is a Chick-fil-A booth. You go to the end of that booth and you click on the three dots on the end. And then this little pop out will come out and you'll have your smart booth divider. The reason we ask that you use a smart booth divider to distribute cookies is because that way it issues a report at the end of the season for your council. So they're able to report out to the different community partners, how many cookies were sold in front of that particular partner. Um, for instance, Fred Myers or Smith's or Kroger's or something like that. They require a report from your council. They like to know how much they've helped the Girl Scouts and how many cookies were sold there. So if possible, please use a smart booth divider to divide out your booth cookies. You'll go in, you'll hit the three dots, you'll choose smart booth divider. It's going to give you a list of your girls. You're going to put all the cookies in the top by flavor of how many you sold at that booth. And then you're going to put a check mark in the names of the girls that you want to distribute to. The Smart Booth Divider will take all of the cookies from the top and evenly divide them as best it can. If it has an odd number of cookies, though, you'll have a little remainder at the bottom in red. And you will just go in and edit the girls' numbers at the top to include those remainders until you've evened out and you've distributed all the cookies. This is also a place where, for instance, if you had three or four girls that worked for just one hour and another girl worked for two or three hours, then you can edit those numbers and distribute the cookies differently. As long as your total distribution enters um, equals the total number of cookies sold at the top, then it will balance out. You hit save and it automatically gives all of those girls credit for the cookies. When you use the Smart Booth Divider, it assumes that you've collected all of the, the money, either in cash or credit cards, and it just gives the girls credit for the sales of the packages. 
Now, once you've divided out all the cookies, you've done all your troop to girl transfers, you've done all your booth transfers, your inventory troop on hand matches what smart cookies thinks you should have. Maybe you're looking at it and you need to make some changes. Maybe you've done a transaction incorrectly. If you need to go back into transaction and take a look at it, you can go to manage orders. You go to your orders tab and then click manage orders. This screen will pop up here in the middle with all the different types of orders and you can filter. You can click all to look at all these orders or you can just click one. Maybe you just want to look at a planned order or something like that. So filter for the type of order you want and then hit apply search perimeters. There is one type of transaction though, and that's girl to girl. If you're looking for a transfer that was made from one girl to another girl, maybe you transferred cookies from one sister to another sister. When you're drilling down to that, to a girl and girl transfer, you need to click on the refine search button. It's just a little bit smaller and it's under transfer here. That refine search is just for girl to girl transfers. But any other transactions you wanna look for, you just use these filters across the top and then click apply. Um, one more quick note that you can look at different kinds of transfer orders. If you click on transfer, you can filter even more and put a check mark by the different types of transfers you want. Again, you can click all, or if you're just looking for a troop to troop transfer, maybe you, you gave cookies to another troop and you want to make sure you can see or edit that transaction, you would just put a check mark here. And then again, click that big apply button underneath. So once you click apply and manage orders, a scene pops up like this. You can filter any of these blue squares across here. Maybe you're looking for a transaction that has to do specifically with thin mints. You can click on thin mints and you can just look for thin vendors. Um, you can do type of order and look for just troop to girl orders is what this one is looking for right here. You can filter by any of these blue squares in the top. But say you did a troop to girl transfer and you made a mistake. You meant to enter 12, but you entered 21. You would find that transaction by girl and then you click on the three buttons here on the end and it will open up an edit button and you can edit that transaction and then save it again. So again, if you need to make corrections, you just go to manage orders, filter by the transaction you're looking for, and then you can edit by clicking on the three buttons. Now you've distributed all of your cookies, except you need to check one more bucket to see if you have cookies there. We're talking about troop direct ship. So troop direct ship orders are orders that your troop may or may not have received. It depends on the GSUSA cookie finder. So if a customer went online and they didn't know a Girl Scout and they put the zip code in and a troop popped up and they ordered cookies and had them direct shipped to them, you would have never handled the cookies or the money, but you might have gotten credit based on your zip code and your troop. So to see if you have any of these orders at the end of your program after you've assigned everything in your actual troop physical inventory, these are kind of treated like bonus orders. So you're going to go to the orders tab, look for troop direct ship orders, click on that, and then this is what will display. If you have any orders here, they're going to pop up as pending distribution. Now these cookies have already been shipped to the customer, already been paid for. You don't have to do anything except give the girls credit for these orders. So you scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and you'll see a button that says distribute orders to girls and when you click on that it's going to bring up a list of your girls it looks just like the smart booth divider and you just divide out the cookies to the girls and it's just extra bonus so if you have a girl maybe who's trying to get to 300 packages and she's only at 295 this is where you could go and assign her some extra cookies not all troops will have these orders some troops will have a lot of them some will only have a few some might not have any it just depends on whether a customer chose your troop from your zip code and had something direct shipped to them. So make sure you look for those and distribute them to the girls at the end. Now, if all the cookies are distributed, you, the other thing you need to make sure that you have correct is girl payments. So anytime a girl has given you any money, it needs to be recorded in Smart Cookies. To do that, you go to your Finances tab, click on Financial Transactions, and this page will pop up with two options. You have troop transactions and girl transactions. Now troops do not record any of their troop monies here. Troop transactions is referring to money that's been credited to your troop by council. So all your credit card 
credits and your ACH payments will be displayed in Troop Transactions, but you are not able to edit in or add any Troop Transactions. Finances in Smart Cookies, you only use Girl Transactions and you record anytime a girl pays you. So you click on Finances, go to Girl Transactions, scroll down to the bottom of that page and add a girl transaction. So when you add a girl transaction, It'll pop up the screen and you'll choose the girl's name, the type of transaction will be payment, um, you'll put cash or check or how she paid you, the date and the amount and any notes that you want to add. Anytime a parent gives you money, you need to give them a receipt, make sure they sign, and then make sure you add the transaction in Smart Cookies so that we'll update how much the girl owes to the troop. Last but not least, well, almost last, reports. We're going to talk real quick about important reports that will help you balance. So you have a troop balance summary. So I told you before that you can manage orders to look for orders if you have a discrepancy. But even easier and probably faster would be to look at your troop balance summary when you sit down with your receipts and get ready to reconcile. Your troop balance summary shows all the cookies transferred in and out of your troop account and all financial transactions credited to the troop. So you go to reports. Troop balance summary is usually in your popular reports, but if you don't see it there, click on finance and then look for troop balance summary. This is a snapshot of a troop balance summary. It'll have the troops information at the top. It'll show your initial order and any cookie share and direct ship. But most importantly, it'll show all transfers into your troop and all transfers out. So this is a sample from my local Reno troop. This is two orders they picked up from the cupboard. And these are some orders that were transferred in from their sister troop. So that means they did troop to troop transfers where a troop gave them these cookies. And these are transfers out where they transferred some other cookies out to this other troop. So if you've done any transfers troop to troop, you want to check here and confirm the dates and that it was the correct troop. You also want to look for if your inventory is off and you're just not sure why, this is a good place to look because maybe a troop transferred something to you by mistake or maybe you're missing a covered transaction. So you can verify your receipts really quickly by just going to the troop balance summary. Then you can drill down into that manage order screen to really see by flavor and see what the discrepancy might be. Okay, at the bottom of the troop balance summary, if you scroll all the way down, you'll see financial transactions. You'll probably have a few pages of these with the credit cards all being displayed. And your ACH will also be displayed there for a total of how much money has been paid on behalf of your troop to the council. And then your balance due will be there at the bottom of your troop balance summary. This will match the financial summary that's on the dashboard of your troop account. But again, you can check your troop balance summary now to make sure that all the ins and outs that have been transferred in and out of your troop and all of the payments that have been credited are correct. And this will give you your final balance due to council. So that's the troop balance summary. Now we're gonna look at the girl balance summary. You're gonna to go to reports, current, and again, girl balance summary should be right here. If not, then you're gonna look in your finance for girl balance summary. The girl balance summary is similar to the troop balance summary. It's gonna show you all the ins and outs on the girl's account what she has in cookie share, what she had in her initial order, direct ship, any booth transfers in, any transfers out, and then it's going to show all her financial transactions, any payments that you've credited to her and any credit cards that she's taken. You want to check and make sure that this matches your receipts and when you're done you can send this balance summary to the parent and show them what's due. Now if you get to the bottom of a balance summary and it's showing a negative amount, that means that there is more money credited to the girl than cookies. There's two reasons that could be true, uh, especially right now. She may still be collecting um, orders online, so she's already gotten a bunch of payments, but she hasn't picked up the cookies yet. So once you transfer the cookies from troop to girl, it's going to balance out. Make sure she's picked up all the cookies she needs to fill her orders. But second, Make sure that your donation cookies have been recorded because the girl may have received multiple donations online, but she didn't remind you or tell you. So you need to go in and assign donation cookies to her to offset those payments that she's received. So if you have a negative balance, then you need to assign more cookies to the girl and go back and reconcile with her. One report that really helps with that is the girl cookie order detail. Girl cookie order detail will show you all of her online payments, 
It also has a category that says included in initial order. So this is helpful, especially when you're looking for cookie share orders. If it was included in initial order, there will be a Y here for yes, and those automatically show up on her Girl Bounce summary. But if there's an N for no, then that means that she has a donation right here under cookie share, this first category. She has a donated cookie and you need to make sure that you've gone in and created a donation order. Because your troop does tracked cookie share and virtual, you have to go in and tell Smart Cookies whether council is going to donate this cookie for you or whether your troop is going to donate. And you have to make a transaction for that to bring her up to date because this girl in this example has collected payment for nine boxes of cookies. She only got the eight physical boxes from her troop leader and forgot to tell the truth that she had a donation here. So again, if you're missing donation cookies, if you think that's the issue, go to your girl cookie order detail and you can look by each girl and see. You can also contact your council and they'll help you reconcile if your girl balance summaries or troop balance summaries aren't quite adding up. Okay, I'm going to pause here and hand it over to Kim. She's going to talk to you about how to create your recognition orders. Hi, everyone. So to create your recognition order, uh, next slide, please. We do that also in Smart Cookies. You will start at the Rewards tab and go to the Recognition Order. And here to select your uh, recognition order, this is the main recognition order. So you'll choose that from the drop down menu. Next slide, please. So you'll see here that you have each one of your girls on a separate line. And you'll notice um, the three on the top, those have a red triangle. And that means that you need to take some action with those. That means that there is a selection, either if there's a shirt and you need to have different sizes or um, with our council, when you get to a thousand uh, packages and above, there are four different choices if they want to choose the hammock or the jewelry making kit. Uh, so you will need to make those choices. Um, we will have a red triangle for any girl at 200 packages or more. And we are asking at 200 packages that you select the easy renewal unless the girl tells you that she's not continuing in Girl Scouts next year. So again, we want to click yes on the girl um, easy renewal option. She will be eligible for all early bird um, rewards and incentives, as well as receive a patch that goes around her early bird patch that says, I earned my membership. Next slide, please. So one of the things you'll want to do is either print out or save a recognition report so that you'll know when the time rolls around that you'll be able to um, divvy out the rewards for the girls. So you'll start here at the uh, reports tab and there's a whole category of reports called rewards. And so we would recommend that you start with the recognition order summary by girl, and that will tell you what each girl earned. And let's take a look. Did we have that report on the next slide? Uh, no, oh, I we didn't don't. do the okay. of it. That's okay. Sorry. It's a very easy report. <laughs> All righty. So Carrie, do you want to tell us about the final reports to save? Um, just a reminder that it's a good idea once you have balanced out your girls and gotten them to a zero balance and all of the cookie transfers are recorded, uh, print or save your girl balance summaries, print and save your troop balance summary and also forward the troop balance summary to your troop leader. If you're not the troop leader, if you're the cookie volunteer, um, the troop leader will need your troop balance summary to reconcile her accounts when it's time for her to reconcile her bank with a uh, with the council possibly. And then recognition summary by girl, like Kim said, you wanna keep that on hand because it's gonna be four to six weeks from the time you submit before your recognitions arrive. Um, and you wanna make sure that you have that report on hand. And then if, if possible, go into your digital cookie and um, also save your all orders report. It is a big bulky report, but it's always a good idea to keep that as backup and that's in digital cookie. Um, just a reminder, last two slides, I promise we're at the end, um, your resources, if you go into Smart Cookies, you are able to go to the Safety and Training tab and click on Smart Cookies Training, and that will pop up a list of little short two to three minute YouTube videos on each individual topic. So you can look for how to submit your recognitions, how to transfer cookies, how to do that troop direct ship we were talking about. There's a little video for each one of those topics in Smart Cookies under the Smart Cookies Training tab. 
You can also go to your council website. They have a YouTube site that has all of the just-in-time videos that they've done throughout the season. All of their trainings are located on their council YouTube site. All right, that's all for now. Kim, do you have anything else to add? I do. I just have one quick reminder about the dates when things are due. Um, we need your final orders. So if you have any cookies that you need to get for any girls that still have goals that they haven't met yet, all of those final orders need to be submitted by Tuesday, April 2nd, and your cookies need to be picked up that day as well from a cupboard that's still open. And then in addition, the troop rewards, those need to be submitted by um, Wednesday, April 3rd, and then we will have our final ACH on April the 8th, and you will receive an email prior to that to let you know what the amount will be. All right, well, thank you so much, everybody, and we will have two um, Q&A sessions on Tuesday, and hope to see you there if you still have questions after watching this video. Thanks, everyone.